This sermon is brought to you by Change Makers, an international assembly of the Apostolic Church, New Jersey, where we are molding lives to fulfill destinies. We pray the word of God replenishes your soul, launching you into the good works he prepared just for you. Stay tuned. I'm a change maker. Sing with me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. Can you please wave to the Lord? Amen. Amen. Oh, wave to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our God has done so much. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Just wave. Just wave. Just wave. Today is your birthday. Today is your birthday anniversary. Um, what other name again? Birthday anniversary ceremonies. So just be happy and be joyous Amen. in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. He has done great things. Hallelujah. He has done great things. Oh, he, he has done great things. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is with me, bless his holy name. Hallelujah, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Hallelujah, he, he has done great things. Hallelujah, he, he has done great things. Oh, bless his hope. Hallelujah, he has Hallelujah, he, he has done great things. Oh, he, he has done great things. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah, he, he has done. Hallelujah, he has done great things. Oh, he, he has done great things. Bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord.
lift up our voices and give thanks to God tonight. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. We thank God for his goodness, his mercies. We thank God how far he has brought you and I. He has brought this ministry. Oh, hallelujah be to his name. Hallelujah be to his name. Hallelujah be to his your name. Hallelujah be to his name. Hallelujah be to your name, oh God. We thank and bless you. Father, all that we are saying, that we thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Indeed, you have proved to us that you are God. Indeed, yes, you are. I mean, show yourself strong on behalf of your people. Indeed, yes, you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Indeed, oh, yes, 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 yes. We thank you, oh Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, we thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you, Father, thank you, in the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, we celebrate you, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, we celebrate, oh, hallelujah, we celebrate you, God, we celebrate, we celebrate you, God, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your kindness, your mercies. We thank you. Oh, ye cabran de limosica. We thank you for your benefits, oh God. Because the expectation of a righteous shall not be cut off. Hey, limon de limon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ye calimon de limon. Nende ke yende masu kayandaha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Kando Bo Zendeke, E Kalete Zando Kabahande, Lima Swande Kaha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. just end in this moment. I just want you to sing this song with me. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, my
my father forgiving your son Spirit Thank you, O oh God. We bless you, O oh God. We honor you, O oh God. Father, you've done so much for us as individuals, as families, as friends, as a church, as a ministry. We adore you and honor you, O oh God. From the depth of our heart, oh Jehovah God, we say thank you. We honor you and we appreciate every bit of it. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. 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 Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 That's it. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come and celebrate with us. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. We're doing it from the top. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, I'm blessed. Bless the Lord with me. Come on, I'm blessed to say. Bless the Lord with me. And so we say. Thank you. 
we're going to sing hallelujah. Eh. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Eh. It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Oh. Let the sound of rejoicing fill this house. Hallelujah. 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 from last week we ought to be grateful we ought to be grateful the lord says be grateful in the time where you are being grateful i'm working something behind and your your gratitude you know is just fueling it it's fueling it amen amen Amen. i'm just reminded as i was preparing for worship i was reminded of the story of daniel and nebuchadnezzar when they were told to go you know, into I think they were asked to worship, you know, the God of Nebuchadnezzar, and they said, you know what, we're not doing that. We're going to wor- we only worship our own God. And then he was thrown into a fiery furnace with his, you know, his friends. And it turns out that, you know, the fire did not consume him. And when Daniel came out, Nebuchadnezzar was like, wow, I don't want to hear anybody talking about the God of Daniel anymore. Because this God is a wonderful God. This God is a powerful God. This God that is able to save. I don't want to hear anybody say nothing about him. And that day, Nebuchadnezzar worshipped our God. That is the truth. Our God is higher than any other God. There is no God like him. And so we say, Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crowns and worship you. Come on. If Nebuchadnezzar can do it, you can do it. Uh, You don't have kingdoms and horses and servants. Lay your crown and worship him tonight wherever you are. Worship the Lord wherever you are. And worship you. 
Oh, be lifted up. Above all other gods, we lay our crowns and we worship you. We lay our crown and we worship you. They all glory us. Oh, magnificent God. All powerful God. We lay our crown and we worship you. beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. No place. no place for arguments. You are God. You are God all by yourself. Yes, you are God. No, no. 
and I've seen other things. And we've come back to say, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. So we say, oh, 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 nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody. like our God. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him. We thank him. him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you. That was very powerful. Tonight, we are so blessed as a church. God has been so faithful for to CMI. The Lord has been so good. Two years. It is not by our grace. It is not by our strength. It has been by the special grace of God. And so tonight, we are all excited because we did not know that God will favor us this way. And so I always want to encourage us that we, to, tonight we are having the power of remembrance. Any believer who has the power of remembrance, the Lord does so much. If you have a daughter or a son and you give something to him or her, you expect the person to come and say, thank you, mommy. Thank you, daddy. So if you always have the power of remembrance and thanking God for where he put you and where he has placed you now, then God is about to do so many things. Psalm 34 verse 1, David said, I will bless the name of God at all times and his praise shall continually be on his lips. Verse 3, he said that, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. To 9 CMI, we are magnifying the name of God and we are exalting his name because the Lord has been so good to us. We are having the power of remembrance. We are, ha- we are, we are remembering where we used to be and where God has placed us to 9. We don't want to be ungrateful we want to say glory be unto the name of God throughout the week I want you to have a power of remembrance in your life when situations become worse and if you remember what God has done for you then it will encourage you that if my God has done it before then he will do it again it doesn't matter how serious it is for I serve a God of possibilities and so there is nothing too hard for him to do tonight we are so grateful amen Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us hear this few announcements. From Monday through Friday, we have fresh oil from 5 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. Please let us come and pray. If you're, on, if you're watching me and you don't have the number, the prayer number is 201-201. 8976559201897 please let us come and pray because prayer is our only weapon that we can use to forfeit the enemy amen and Wednesdays, we have the School of the Word, the School of the Word. It, wa- it has been so beautiful. We are learning the Word of God, and that is what we have to do as believers. So let us come. It's a Zoom conference. Let us come at um, 7.15. Come, invite your friends, your colleagues that act work. Let us come and learn the Word of God. Amen. And then on Friday, 12 a.m., midnight battles, midnight battles, we are battling. The, lo- the enemy is not, da- is not sleeping, and so we also have to not to be sleeping. The Lord has given us the power to tread upon snakes and scorpions, and so let us come midnight and pray unto the Lord at 12 a.m. and to 1 a.m. Amen. Amen. Tonight we are so excited. The Lord has been faithful to us, CMI. And so I just want to see beautiful faces, smiling faces, because it hadn't been easy. If we are here tonight, then we say, Father, you deserve to be praised. It is time to hear the word. But before that, we have a very wonderful woman of God in our midst who is going to give us a song ministration. With a hand of applause, help me welcome Madam Sister Gratiana, amen, 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 amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know. Ever since Pastor know that I know, I know how to sing, he just, can you sing a song for me? But I'm grateful. I want to thank God for giving me another opportunity to be in his house and to spare in me and my kids' life to be in the house. And I'm grateful, and I'm going to minister unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. I serve a mighty God who reigns in heaven above in majesty supreme so long as I'm on his side my life he'll surely guide and I am persuaded God will see me through I am persuaded God will see me through I never doubt him I only trust him he specializes in things so impossible and I am persuaded God will see me through if you're a child of God you will be tried by fire by the powers of this world but as the eagle you soar you will be tempted by him and i am persuaded god will see me through i am persuaded god will see you through i never die going through the water he will be there when you're going through the fire he will be there no need to worry no need to fret God has never you yet and I am persuaded God will see you through yes I am persuaded God will see you through I never doubt him you only trust him and he specializes in things so impossible and I am persuaded God will see you through yes I am persuaded God 
will see you through I never doubt him I only trust him And he specializes in things So together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've come this far not by might, not by power, but by His grace. Amen. Amen. Somebody, are you happy? Amen. Let everything that has bread praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are celebrating two years of a journey. And we thank God so much. God has been so good unto us. Because sometimes we are not able to thank God for how far he has brought us. And we complain about where we should have been by now. But you need to realize that you might not be where you want to be by now. But you have to bless God for how far he has brought you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to have a wonderful service tonight. I'm very excited to introduce this man of God who, you know, has been uh, my father since I came to Garfield. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the adoption papers to go through, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love him. I love him so much. You, you are aware that this whole week we've been fasting and praying for the city and for the pastors and every morning we will get on the phone and pray and i'm so blessed to have you as a spiritual father and you know for everything that is going on and in spite of your busy schedule you made time to come and fellowship with us tonight we don't take it lightly at all i know that you had service this morning and you had to hang around to make it to a second shift <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah Please, with a standing ovation, join me, even as a welcome, Reverend Atta Bryant of Friendship Baptist Church yeah. in Gaff. Amen. 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 I, Amen. I, I, I believe that your, your father cannot visit you and not bless you. Amen. Amen. So we want, we want, I want my papa to speak to us and any blessing that you came with, just pour it down and then I will, I will hold on to your wallet later on. <laughs> God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, our God is good. All and, the time. And all the time. God is good. It's so good to be here to this great pastor, this man of God, amen, to Change Makers International, and to your wife, and to all of the officers and God's children are called soldiers. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's a blessing to be in the midst, and because I don't know about you, but see, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord, especially after what we've been through, amen, through this uh, pandemic. Uh, not only have I uh, was, we had service this morning, but after service, we was out in the streets um, giving food to the homeless and ministering and letting people, giving people some hope. And it's funny, Pastor, when I came back, you said something key. I was, I was, I told my wife, I said, listen, I'm not going to go home. I said, I will stay in the office. I had bought my change of clothes. And I said, what I'm going to do is I'll just sit at the office, eat me a little lunch, and then come over uh, for this evening. But as I never give your plans to God, because he will laugh at you. And so what happened was I messed around and got comfortable and had the game on and all that and getting ready to change. As I was changing my clothes... I happened to have some Hawaiian punch on my desk and I was putting my shirt on and one of my sleeves slapped the cup over on the other sleeve and my shirt was messed up and I had to go home. 
get another shirt. My wife said, I thought you wasn't coming home. Get another shirt and come back. Amen. And the only reason because of the love I have for your ministry and your pastor. Let's give Amen. your pastor another hand. A, a great man of God. But I want to share. I don't want to, you know, I'm not the preacher tonight. I come to partake. And I want to tell your worship team, you bless me. Amen. The worship team, you don't know the importance of worship. Amen. You, what you did to me was you just, uh, you just brought me back alive. Amen. Amen. And, amen. and when you're in the presence of the Lord, amen, something happens on the inside. Amen. amen. Thank God I'm not the preacher. Amen. amen. But I do want to say this real quickly as I come to just be obedient, to give you words of encouragement. One thing I want to do, I want to say to you, I'm glad. First of all, I bless God for two years. Amen. Come on. Amen. amen. You could two years. Amen. Amen. You don't know how many people who may have had buildings and they don't have them no more. Mm. They don't have a place to worship. Mm. But if God provided, yeah. God made a way out of nowhere. Mm. God brought you through and brought you out and brought you in. Mm. You got to give God some praise Amen. and tell him thank you. Because if it had not been for the Lord on your side, yes. where would we be? Oh, no. But one thing I do want to say, we're all in the same body of Christ. I I was out in the streets and I was ministering to this one young lady and people make me laugh sometimes because especially those who are religious. You see, I found out that one thing, you know, I may be Baptist, but we're all believers of Christ. And she told me, says, well, I'm Baptist. I said, well, I'm Baptist too, but I'm a Christian. Amen. I'm a follower of the King. Amen. I don't go by labels. I go by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I said, if Jesus saved me, he didn't put a label on me. I'm a child of God, a Amen. child of the King. But as we were sharing and what I, we was out there uh, ministering to all of these people who were, who have lost hope and don't have no idea about that Jesus is still in the saving business. And I'll say to you as a church family, I have no problem saying to you what I shared with my church, not today, but in the midst of everything. Because what happened, our humanity is real. And I want you to know something that God was not shocked at the pandemic that came our way. God already knew. God is omnipotent. God is omnipresence. And God is omniscience. And as he did that to us, allowed that to happen to us, I want you to know something. I believe that it was only a test. But at the same time, not a judgment, but a test. But we have to remember who we are in Christ. The Bible tells us he has pulled us out of the power of darkness and brought us into the marvelous light. The darkness of sin is powerful. And if God can bring us out of darkness, God can bring us through a pandemic. God is preparing Amen. us for what's next. But he wants the church to be in the forefront. One thing I do want to say, I was looking at your Bible study and it's amazing how you're getting ready to go into Romans. And I shared with your pastor that what we're doing at our church, I told the church, we got to deal with foundational truths. You have to know your foundation to be able to stand in the midst of the world that we're living in. But one thing I want to remind you, you said this song, I don't know if you were singing, Paul said, I'm persuaded. That neither death nor life, nor principality, nor height, nor ruler, nor spirit, nor demon can separate us from the love of God. And the only way Paul could say that is he had to go through some experience. Amen. And Amen. God allowed us to go through an experience so we can see too that nothing, nobody, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Just like you, I'm human. And I've had my challenge through during this pandemic. But one thing that woke me up, I said to myself once the Holy Spirit quickened me, I said, I'm not going to let a pandemic steal my worship. Mm. Because he is the one who created me and brought me back from death to life. Amen. And so I said, God, you said, if you be for me, who can be against me? Amen. And if you are God, and if you can't keep me, I just can't be kept. So we got to continue 
continue to press on. We got to continue to crawl on. We got to continue to make a way out of no way. Don't be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power. I said the power unto salvation. And if God's power can't keep you. So I let everybody know when I go to work and when I go to wherever I need to go, don't get me wrong. We have to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Yes, I wear my face mask, but one thing I want you to know something, I know greater is he than any face mask, any uh, uh, spacing or distancing. I'm going to trust God until I die because you got to remember this world is not our home. We're just passing through, but thank God for the kingdom. We're in the kingdom. You got to understand I'm a kingdom child. And that means that I got power to be, to, to be able to overcome anything that comes my way because my daddy and my brother, his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. He went to Calvary. But I'm so glad if he if he didn't get up early Sunday morning, then I got something to worry about. But if he can rise, we can rise too. So I'm so glad to be on Jesus' side. And if you're on Jesus' side, I want to let you know everything. I said everything will be all right. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. I said everything. Continue worshiping. Continue blessing him. Make a, let God use you in a mighty way because God has a great plan. You, I want to let you know something. We are in for something we've never seen before. If you thought you had victory before, look what's going to happen now that what we're in now because God has prepared us Amen. for the battlefield that's confronting us mm. but people are going to see that it's God who has the power Amen. to keep us to, 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 to make us to be able to survive everything that goes on they, everybody said this is the new normal I don't know what the new normal is but one thing I do know I'm a child of God Amen. and if Amen. he can be for me who can be against me? So we thank God for your uh, celebrating Amen. two years. Amen. And if God brought you through the pandemic or through, especially earlier part of the COVID when we, they had to ban the church, we couldn't come and meet no more. And I'm going to tell you something. That was a challenging time for us as pastors because we had to be able to, 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 to encourage the people. But at the same time that we had to encourage ourselves. But one thing I, I know I, I share with somebody, I share with your pastor. You see, God saved me from a drug addiction. God saved me from the pits of hell. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to allow no devil in hell to intimidate me. Because what he did for me, I know he's able. Amen. And so I couldn't wait. I tried to, you know, I did what I had to do. I was obedient to wait till it was the time to come back into the house of the Lord for worship. Amen. And I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to sit down because I want you to understand something. The secret of fellowship and the power of fellowship, mm. when you're coming together mm. and you're worshiping, not on Facebook Live, not on a, whatever type of social media or, or streaming, but when you come into the house together, mm. There is a presence. Mm. There is in the presence a power, mm. encouragement. There's a, 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 a presence of an anointing mm. that we all need. Amen. And you don't know what you did for me by just coming here. Mm. You know, I've ministered uh, this morning, but to be able to be ministered to through your worship mm. of your, uh, uh, your worship experience we just had. Mm. So God bless you. Continue, keep on keeping on, and continue to let heaven smile on you. God bless you, preacher. God bless you, pastor. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, man of God. God bless you so much. We are really elevated. God bless you and give you all your heart desires. Amen. 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 So now we are so we are worshiping the Lord. We are thanking God. We we want to hear from a very wonderful man. 
we want to hear a song ministration from our brother Anthony. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God a praise. I tell you, God is so wonderful. He is so graceful to us. And, um, I know God gave me this song as soon as pastor asked me to sing it. The song says, you made a way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Standing here, not knowing when we'll get through this test. But holding on to faith, you know best. Nothing else can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and I'm watching us now. And when it looks like we cannot win, you wrapped us in your arms and stepped in. Everything we need just supply. You got this figured out, and I want you to know that you come on, sing it with me. Made a way when our backs was against the wall, and it looked like it was over. Come on, you made. We're standing here. Hey, come on, sing it again. Come on. When my back's against the wall, and it looked like it was over. Hope God. My favorite part, let's go to the drive. You move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles, miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, that's impossible. And we're standing here in holy ground. Come on, sing it with me. You perform miracles. And there's nothing, God. There's nothing. That's impossible. And we're standing here. Oh, God. Come on, let's sing it again. You. You move mountains. You cross the walls to cross. Cross to pay. With your power, you God. With your power, God. And there's nothing that is more that's impossible. As we stand in here, tell the Hey, come on, you. You move mountains. You call walls to fall. Walls to fall. With your power, God. You perform miracles. You perform miracles. And Lord, there is nothing. There is nothing, 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 Oh and we stand and we're standing here because and we're standing there and we stand there is nothing only because there is nothing there is nothing 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 Lord, oh, we're standing here. Lord, oh, we're standing here. And we're standing here. 
me before you made. Come on. Well, we you made a way. Stay right there. You, you made a way. Come on, stay right there with me. Say you. You oh. made a way. You made a way from me. Says you made a way. You made a way for my mother. You made yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. When they said it was all over, I said you made a way. I don't know, don't know how, but you did it. Come on, don't know how, but you did it. Oh God, don't know how, but you did it. Hey, 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 hey. Don't know how, but you did it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh God, don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how 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 you did it. How many know that he made a way? Yes. How yes. many know that he made a way? Yes. I declare yes. a decree yes. in the name of our Father, yes. the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Whatever you need, yes. whatever you need in the Lord, he will make a way for you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. And I'm standing. And I'm standing. I'm standing here. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. You way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lift your voice to the Lord and cry hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Set the atmosphere in here for worship. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I'm standing here only because you made a way. Come on, put your hands together and worship Him. I love you, Judah. I love you, Judah, because you first loved me. Thank you, God. You perform miracles, and there is nothing that's impossible. And we stand in here only because this is my song. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. There is nothing. Hey, that's impossible. As we stand in here, only because we made our way. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We serve a God that performs miracles. He still performs miracles even today. Even today, he performs miracles. He's not just a God of the Old Testament, of the New Testament. He's a God of today. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. One day, Jesus was standing. He was ministering to a crowd of people in John chapter 6. Uh, Jada, if you can put this up for me. John chapter 6, verse 11. And as he was ministering, the disciples came to him. And they said, Jesus, the crowd are hungry. What shall we do? The Bible says in John chapter 6 that there were 5,000 men. But it also says that there were women and children in the midst. So 5,000 men, if you multiply that by 2, maybe 3, I don't know. 
Then they were, you know, burning children like crazy. So maybe multiply by five. Yeah. 25,000 people, let's say. We're just guessing. We don't know the full, full amount. It says, and the disciples came to him and they said, but Lord, we only have five loaves and two fishes. What shall we do? How can we feed this multitude? Verse 11, I'll read it quickly. John chapter 6, verse 11. It says, and Jesus took the loaves and when he had given thanks... He distributed to the disciples. And then if you read later on, it says that not only did they feed the crowd, but that they had baskets upon baskets upon baskets that were left over beyond. But it says that, and Jesus gave thanks, and he gave thanks, and he gave thanks. Tonight is a Thanksgiving service. Tonight is a Thanksgiving service for his faithfulness, two years of his faithfulness, two years of his steadfast love over this ministry, Two years of his hand of protection over this ministry. Two years of performing miracles in this ministry. Two years of, his, of, 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 of being able to lean on him at times where we, we, we had no one else to lean on. Amen. But Amen. I want to tell you that even tonight as you are giving thanks to God, mm. expect a miracle. Yes, Lord. The song we sang earlier on, he performs miracles. Amen. He performs miracles. At this time, Jesus needed a miracle. Okay. Yes, Jesus was 100% God, but he did this as his, in, his, in, his, in his state as being 100% man as well. He, cr- he gave thanks to the Father. He's like, how am I going to feed this 5,000 plus people? Mm. I only have five loaves and two fishes. And he gave thanks. Tonight we are giving thanks, and as we give thanks, God is going to visit us and move us even to a higher level and even to a higher places in yes, Jesus' Lord. name. Amen. 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 One thing that I also want to encourage, I won't be before you long, but one thing I want to encourage you um, as children of God is whenever you're in a dark place, whenever you're in a place where you have tried fasting, you have tried praying, you have tried, uh, you know, going to the man of God or the woman of God, whatever the case is, it may be. Uh, whenever you've tried everything else and you don't know what to do, here's a secret. Offer praises and thanksgiving to God. Yes. When you've done everything else, when you have sought the word of God, when you have sought revelation and Amen. it hasn't, just, just sit down and say, Lord, I'm going to praise you. In spite of it all, I'm going to offer thanksgiving Amen. to you. Amen. And what that does is that it, 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 it diminishes the problem that is around you or whatever it is that is, you know. It's amazing how sometimes all you need is a, a change in your perspective. Mm. All you need is a mental perspective change. Another example of, of Jesus giving thanks. Tonight is a Thanksgiving service. Uh, John chapter 11. Please turn with me to John chapter 11 if you have your Bibles in front of you. Verse 41. John chapter 11 verses 41. John chapter 11 verse 41 to verse 43. This is Jesus after he had been called to um, visit uh, Lazarus who had been dead for uh, three days already and, and, and they, told, they told Jesus that no, 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 he's, bo- he's already stinking. Jesus told them just, just open, open the grave, open, open the, uh, the tomb so that I can, I can go into him. And verse 41 it says, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. I'll read it again. Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And verse 44 says, And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto, unto them, Lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. Tonight we are having a good time. We are celebrating God and his faithfulness and we are I mean that was such a powerful time of worship. I'm like don't stop, don't stop, just keep going, keep going. Thank you so much brother Anthony. But I want you to recognize that even in this moment of thanksgiving, even tonight as we are thanking God, I want you to have an expectation to say Lord, I need a miracle. Jesus needed a miracle. He was facing Lazarus uh, you know, a dead Lazarus, he was facing a crowd that were looking at him and saying, what will this man do? What will, can he really raise the dead? He needed a miracle. If you're listening online, wherever you are, you may be listening from, I want you to know that 
even if you need a miracle, just look unto Jesus. Thank the Father for the fact that you are alive and you are well. Yes, thank Lord. him. There are things you can thank him for. And in your thanksgiving, I believe that God will visit you with a miracle. Amen. Amen. In, your, in your place of thanksgiving, God will visit you with, uh, with, with a turnaround and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and change your circumstances. That is my prayer for you. That is my prayer for all of us this evening. I'll, I'll hand over to Elder. Elder, please come and take over. Oh, um, Madam Winifred, please come and take over. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wow. Tonight is a very powerful service. I mean, the atmosphere is, I don't know, it's powerful. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We are in the mood of worshiping and blessing the name of God for how far the Lord has brought us. We are about to hear another song ministration before the man, the young papa of the house comes. We invite the special woman of God, this beautiful and elegant woman of God, with a standing ovation and a clapping. Can you help me welcome the first lady of this house, Mrs. Linda Bediaku, to give us a song ministration. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God all the glory. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for how far he has brought us. Reverend said something that during this pandemic, a lot of churches, big churches, were not able to pay their mortgage and the churches has been closed. But look at the, us, this little church, small church, I don't know how he did it, but he made a way. Amen. We are standing here. All that we want to say is thank you, Lord. We just want to bless the name of the Lord because he has been so good to us. Amen. Jehovah God has been, so, he has been faithful. He has been so good. So we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. We thank you. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah. In just one minute, I want you to be on your feet with me. And join me and let us thank the Lord. Lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice for his goodness, for his mercy, for his steadfast love. For his sister mentioned it, Auntie Winnie mentioned it earlier on, our motto for the year which says that oh magnify the Lord with me yes. and let us exalt his name together yes. there is no microscope that you can put God in to magnify him he is so big that he doesn't need to be magnified uh -huh. uh, you, will, you will need somebody who is bigger than the universe to be able to create the universe and we think that the universe is big how much more God uh -huh. hallelujah Amen. when I look back and I look oh you can please sit down if you want to if you want to stand with me that's fine <laughs> hallelujah when I, when, I, when I look at his faithfulness morning by morning new mercies I see Amen. all that I have needed his grateful hands has provided me. He's not faithful only when things are going on right. He is faithful even when I'm down. Uh -huh. He is faithful even when I'm weak. Uh -huh. Because his strength is made perfect in my weakness. So when the devil sometimes began to laugh and have a party because you are weak, that is when God steps into the situation. Hey! Because when you are not weak, his strength doesn't make manifest in our life. Great is his faithfulness. Yes. He's been so faithful unto me. I say he's been my lawyer. He's been my judge. Even when I'm not in the courtroom, he steps in the courtroom. Yes. And he said, I've come to represent you. You don't need to even come. He's been my healer. He's been my doctor. He's been my trainer. He's been my intercessor. He's been my counselor. He's been my song. He's the lifter up of my hand when I am solo. Who is this God? If he had not been for the Lord on our side, where will we be? I look back and I said, you've been so good. I look back and I said, in two years, the Lord has kept us. There are many businesses that collapse in the first six months. So if you're able to stay in business for two years, it means that the Lord has been so good. Amen. I've seen people married in 50 hours and the marriage, they went back and divorced. So if you've been married for two years, you have every cause to celebrate. Amen. The Lord has been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm reading quickly from the book of Psalm chapter 34. Psalm 34, reading from verse 1. It says that, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 3. He said, Oh, Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, verse 4, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. He moves to the 18 and then he said, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and service set as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them. Amen. Amen. The Lord delivers him from them all. Amen. 
The fact that I am under his wings does not mean that the afflictions will not come. But when they come, it will all work together for my good. Amen. It will all work together for our good. Amen. Though I walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. Now, I want you to give you a quick backdrop before we got to Psalm 34. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 21, reading from verse 10 to 15, for the sake of our time, I won't read it. But David was running away from Saul, and then he ended up in the camp of King Ashish of Gath. And when he got to this place, the king realized who David was. And he said, isn't this the guy who people were singing that he had killed 10,000 and Saul had just killed a thousand? Then David realized that he was in danger because there was news that Saul was looking for him. And the Bible says that all of a sudden, David realized that where I am, I need to be smart. The Bible says that all of a sudden, David began to drew, began to scratch walls and acted like he was crazy. The kid gets up and say, what the heck are you guys thinking about? You think I don't have enough crazy people in this country or in this town and you bring me another crazy person to take care of? Get this guy out of my way. And then David escaped from the plans of the evil one. It was his own idea, but when he came out, he said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Uh, it might have been my own understanding, it might have been my own intellect, but I have come this far not by might, not by power, but by his grace in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. He has brought us a mighty long way. He has brought us a mighty long way. It is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by his grace. David could have said, it was my own understanding. I came up with the idea to escape. I always say that if I have to pick an English name, I will pick David. Because among scripture, he was the only one that God said, this guy is the apple of my eyes in spite of his limitations and setback, in spite of all the mistakes that David went through, the Lord was able to look at David and say that you are the apple of my eyes. You know why? Because David never forget the goodness of the Lord. Amen. The very moments that I realized that my gratitude and my appreciation of God will not will expand whatever I have and everything that I have will not depreciate. I always want to find an opportunity to give God the praise. Amen. The things that I praise God about, it will marvel you. I can get a parking spot and as soon as I put in, I lift up my hands. I say, God, I thank you for this parking spot. It might not mean anything to you, but I know how to get God into my place. Because the Bible says that God inhabits the praise of his people. As soon as David realized that I can get God's attention with my praises and my worship, even when he was down, God was still close to him. Because God inhabits the praise of his people. Count your blessings. And name them one by one. Minister faithfulness. Oh Lord, Lift up your voice, somebody.
in this man that we have come to magnify this evening? Who is this man that you want to magnify? Has the Lord been good to you? He's wonderful. He's counselor. He's the everlasting father. He's the prince of peace. He's the king of glory, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts, the lily of valley. He's the faithful God. He's my victorious one. He's Jehovah El Leon, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah. He's the prophet of prophets. He's the king of kings. He's my protector, my defender. Who is this man that you have come to magnify? I have come to magnify him because when the enemy sets traps, he created a way of asking for me. He has been the God in three persons. In the benefits, I am not alone. He's the creator, he's the composer. He is the author and the finisher of my faith. He picks up the chalk. And he begins to write. Amen. And when the enemy thinks that the story is over, mm. he said that I can end the story this way. Amen. One day I was thinking about the author and the finisher of my faith. And it makes me understand that if God is writing, if God is composing the songs and the melodies of my life, yeah. you can see me today and not recognize me tomorrow. Yeah. Because yes. God has the ability to change the melody. Yes. What you are playing right now, God can just switch it right now. What key are you playing? E. I can ask you to move to D right now. Are you in D? So when you think that the keys are not running very, very good, God says that I am moving from D right now. And I can switch to F. When God is composing my life, don't look at me and laugh today. Mm. Because today I might be singing in a D, but by tomorrow I might be in a G. Amen. Where the D is lower, but the G is a little higher. Amen. Don't look at my today. Don't look at my today. Mm. I have come across people that said, we didn't know you would be like this. We didn't know that you would look like this. If we had known, we had known, we had known. I said yesterday for the past couple of, uh, the past two days we've been, we've been on the Zoom conference and when we were over, we started playing some of our messages. And anytime you come, you go and come, there were people on there. And the Lord said, I told you that I will lay a table before you. Hallelujah. In the presence of your enemies. I've never prayed for my enemies to die. No. Except the witch and the wizards. <laughs> but my enemy, I pray that God will give you long life. Amen. Because if you die right now, you will not be able to witness the goodness of the Lord. Amen. There are certain things we can't say it on air. But the Lord had made a way where there seems to be no way. Yeah. And we thought that we have seen something. I always tell you that whatever we are doing, there are people, it's so funny, but there are people that are sneaking and they are always trying to find out what is going on. Uh -huh. And they realize that I thought this guy was dead. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When Jesus had an encounter with Jairus, Jairus was the house that Jesus was going before the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of his garment. So, so look at something that happened. Jairus was walking with a man whose daughter was sick. And the Lord was, Jesus was telling him that don't worry, it shall be well. Your daughter will not die. Your daughter will not die. And then on their way to the house, the woman came and caused a distraction. And Jesus healed this woman by her own faith. Guess what? Whilst they were still journeying, people came from the house and told Jairus, Jairus, don't waste your time. Your daughter is dead. At that moment, Jairus gave up. And the Lord, Jesus told Jairus, I got you. Don't worry. Let's go. When they got to the house, everybody in the house were wailing and crying. Reverend, 
You have no idea. You guys here in America, you don't know how to do funeral. <laughs> I will show you a video of how we do funeral in Africa. You people look too cute at your funerals. Back home, they can cry. They have people that are hired to cry. They, they pay people to cry. <laughs> So these people were in the house of Jairus and they were crying. Somebody need to hear this. They were crying. They were on the floor wailing and pulling their hair. I could see the women. The wigs were all over the place. And then Jesus gets into the house. And Jesus said, the, 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 the child is not dead. She's just sleeping. As soon as Jesus said she's just sleeping, the Bible says the people that were laughing had now stopped, uh, the people that were crying had now stopped crying and they were laughing at Jesus. That is why not all those that are crying with you means it. There are certain people, the only time you get a phone call from them is when they've heard that you have a problem. The only time that you, can, you hear from them is only when you have a situation, something negative. Then they call you out of nowhere. But when I'm celebrating, you are not there. But when I'm down, you want to call me. All right. I believe that there were people that were very disappointed when Lazarus came out. Somebody was thinking about the stuff that they would get because Lazarus was out. But if Jesus comes around, that which is dead will rise up again. I am very happy that we are recording videos because we have evidence. Some years to come, we will celebrate an anniversary Amen. and then we will play some of the videos. Amen. Amen. And then we will say, oh, we used to be there. Yeah. Now we are here. Amen. I am speaking prophetically that if Jehovah God has called me, then the Lord needs to manifest what he showed me before he called me. Amen. I am one type of a person that will go before God. Yesterday I told God, I said, God, in three days I haven't slept. But in the midst of all of this, if you don't bless me, then I have a battle with you, Jehovah God. Because those who are looking at us need to look at us and give you glory. Amen. We will count back and we'll say he has brought us a mighty long way. Oh, somebody magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. In two years, we never thought that we would have a dynamic audiovisual department. Mm. After service, just stop by at the back there and you watch. This is not two years. This is the Lord's doing. Mm. In two years, we never thought that we would have such a dynamic worship team. Mm. In two years, we never thought that the Lord would bless us with musicians like this. Mm. Yeah. In two years, we never thought that a novice can become an expert videographer. Yeah. In two years, we never thought that the Lord will bring us this far. Amen. I moved to Garfield and I never thought that I would meet you. Amen. I thought I was alone. Mm. And then I said, where's my papa? Mm. And he said, I'm going to give you a big bear. Yeah. To us, yes. the Lord has been good. We never thought that we could even still fellowship in the midst of this pandemic, but we are here. Hallelujah. I want to say that I thank God for your lives, Amen. every single one of you, whoever the Lord has blessed us with and blessed this church with. Some of you, you know, sometimes if if you haven't been into somebody's garden before, you might think your garden is the worst. But you get into somebody's yeah, garden and then it humbles you Amen. and then you realize that i never knew that i was better mm. i never knew that the lord would favor me this way mm. i never knew that the lord has been so good unto us mm. that's what the psalmist says count your blessings and name them one by one and you will know that the lord has been so good unto mm. you amen amen 
Some people, you know, we wake up every morning and then we, we step on their skill and then we look at their skill and then we say, oh God, why? Somebody also steps on the same skill and cry. It has been good. The Lord has been good. Amen. 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 My sister, is everything okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I just love God. I just love God. I just love God. I, 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 I want to, if you don't hear anything tonight, if you can appreciate God, God will always be around you. Amen. Amen. Wake up every morning and say, God, I thank you for life. I thank you for life. I always say that one of the greatest testimony is to wake up in the morning. Wake up in the morning is the greatest testimony. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't even know what else I can say, but I have to say that thank you so much for those who have hanged on and been faithful up to this time. The work is not easy. It has not been easy, but we are moving forward. The Lord has been good. Do you know how it feels to wake up as the leader of a church and not go and beg to pay rent? That's right. You guys don't know. When you said that statement you made, it hit home. You know, I was talking to you know a couple of pastors that were praying. Uh, uh, the, the pastor that called me your friend, he was telling me that a lot of pastors are suffering in Garfield and we need to pray for them. And then I look back and I said, God, you've been good. Yeah, you've been yeah. good. Yeah. Go back home to your garbage and look at the food you put in the garbage today. Well, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Right. The other day I went to our storeroom and I was looking at expiration dates. And there were a lot of food that had expired. My, my wife is uh, she's trying not to have eye contact. But... But then you realize that God has been good to us. I wake up every morning and I look at the squirrels in the yard. They are even happier. In the midst of COVID, they don't care. They are being fed. As a matter of fact, they are growing bigger. They are growing. I always look at them and say, look at how much fun they are having. No social security number, but they are just chilling. And the Lord said, even those ones, how much more you and I? Oh, we thank God for how far he has brought us. Between now and December, my voice has changed. Is it the Holy Spirit or what? But we bless God. Amen. 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 Pastor Brian, I want you to join us. You know, we have a kick, second anniversary kick that we want to cut together. <laughs> We are, we are having a birthday. Is it, you know, the church's birthday. Yeah, that's how we call it. You know, so we got to cut some cake and, you know, celebrate and, and thank God. Husband, did you change my sound? It was you? Oh, okay. I, I'm not complaining. I like it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, let, let, let me smooth it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, come on, don't be afraid. There's no COVID. Just be on your feet, gather around, you know. Pastor Brian, will you join me? And uh, First Lady, come. You will help us cut the cake, and then we will all celebrate, and then uh, don't be afraid. Yeah, good. Pastor Brian, you wanna, you wanna get closer to me, or? Before we cut the cake, I, wanna, I want you to pray for us. And then after we cut the cake, we'll all celebrate. You know, in the midst of it all, I want you to get ready. We have to get our Thanksgiving seed today. Amen. Thanksgiving seed. Amen. We want to thank God for two years. I didn't remind you, you know, maybe you didn't prepare, you know, but you can go home and say, God, I want to thank God for this church for two years. And this is a good ground that you can sow a seed. And I know that the Lord will multiply your seed. Amen. 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 Our Father and our God, we take this moment to say thank you. Amen. We know, God, that we could have done nothing without you. We thank you for this ministry, 
Change Makers International. We thank you, God, for the man of God and his lovely wife, his mother, and all of the members and officers. We thank you for bringing them through the dangers, toils, and snares. We thank you, God, that you made a way to provide for them. We thank you that through the storm and through the rain, they're still standing. And so, Father, as we gather and be mindful to say thank you, we ask you to continue to keep your hand in their hand. Bless them, empower them, increase them. And most of all, God, continue to rain your love on them. We thank you for this cake to be able to come and to celebrate. And now, God, release Amen. the latter rain Amen. that you have on this ministry. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, can we get a happy birthday song and then, you know, we cut the cake? Oh, like happy birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday song. You know, we talk oh, about okay. All right, happy so first lady, you want to say something? Say something, say something. Okay, all right, so take the knife and uh, we cut this cake in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Make sure, make sure you get a piece of our second birthday cake. Amen. 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 To you, happy birthday to you. Happy you want to see birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. a time of celebration and time of praises hallelujah so let's let's get ready please if your tithe and offering is ready if your thanksgiving offering is ready please lift it up lift it up we want to thank god we want to thank god for how far he has brought us we want to thank god for the gift of life in the name of jesus today as we celebrate three year journey we are grateful unto you oh god Hallelujah. As you are aware in CMI, we give our seed, our tithe, our offering, an assignment. If you are using your electronic device, wherever you are, those that are home, please don't forget, you have to partake in what we are doing this evening. We want you to join us in our faith and thank God for how far he has brought us. The Lord has been so good unto us. Amen. So lift up your seed wherever you are. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that which you have given unto us. We are breaking unto you and we say thank you. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We thank you for the latter rain. We thank you for what you are about to do in our lives. We said everyone that is given this moment, may you bless us, press down, shaking together, running over. Let men give unto our bosoms, oh God. We bless you, we honor you, and let us say shout, Amen. 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 Lift him up high. Lift him
the fight. Amen. 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 Before we receive um, the benediction, you know, we, we are celebrating and we thank God so much. Our heart is filled with so much joy. And, you know, as we celebrate this moment, we also want to celebrate our Father who was the founding Father of this house, who has been called. And I know that right now he's watching from heaven and he's saying, that's my boy. That's he and my right there. That's my family right there. I don't want any of us to ever be sad or ever be down. My heart is filled with so much joy. And the reason why I say that is that in the, in the almost two years that he was with this family, his heart was in a better place. Yeah. And I thank God that God didn't call him three years prior to because if God had called him three years prior to, I know he was bitter. He was in a place where he was, he was a little bit disappointed with church folks. But when we started CMI, he was hardworking. I remember one time he wasn't feeling well. And I said, Daddy, he was, he, he was the one who takes our money to the bank every Monday. He was the one who would count it. I can't even keep up with how he used to order his stuff. I was telling my wife this evening that, I have to stop this thing because I have receipts all over the place. He was very meticulous with whatever he did. And I said, Daddy, you're not feeling well, so I want you to rest so that I have somebody, I want to delegate somebody that will do the job. And I saw that he was very upset. I said, I'm sorry, take back your job. <laughs> Even when he, he, he was very frail, he will make sure his assignment was done. Yeah. And okay. if he didn't leave any legacy, his efficiency and commitment to service is something that we all need to emulate in this house. Amen. So today, as we're celebrating two years, we are celebrating our Papa also. He would have been here, and I could see him sitting here, and after church, he would tell me, Anna, you are doing a good job, and I'm with you. I dragged this man all over. Everywhere I went, he was with me. Yes, he, he was always there. And right now, I feel that he's here. Yeah. I feel that he's here. And I, I, don't, I don't want us to ever be sad at all. No, 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 no. That's right. No, every time this church, CMI, we will always, he will always forever be in our heart. Amen. You know, and, Amen. And, 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 you know, I know that mommy gets a little emotional whenever he can, she comes to church. After today, come and smile, be happy. Daddy left a legacy. Yeah. Daddy Amen. did an Amen. awesome job. Amen. And we love him. We love him. We love him. Amen. 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 Lift up your beautiful hands. Psalm 34, verse 3. Oh, oh magnify, magnify the Lord with, with me, me and, and let us exalt his name together. together. Amen. 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 The Lord God who has kept you up to this far. May he continue to shower his blessings unto us. Yes, Lord. May you never experience shame or heaviness. Amen. And may laughter never cease in your house. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's get ready for a new week of excitement. Amen. Expect the great. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, amen. We love you guys. We love you all. Amen. Sit with me, choir. Hey there, we trust you were truly blessed by the sermon. We would love to see you at one of our services soon. Check out our website at www.changemakersnj.org for all of our contact information, meeting times, and ways you can give to support the ministry. God bless you. Sit with me now. Look at me up.